How to assign tasks in Microsoft To Do. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you are doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step what you need to do in order to basically assign tasks to other people with Microsoft To Do. So basically, if you didn't know, with Microsoft To Do, you can obviously create tasks, you can create groups, uh, and you can create lists and all those things. And you can have, you know, some sort of a task management platform, a very small one. Uh, and you can just use it to assign people some tasks so they know exactly what they need to do. And now it's going to be a very simple process. It's just, you know, going to require at least uh, two people to work. If you're uh, working on it alone, then there is no even uh, like there is no reason for you to even assign tasks because they are just going to be for you. Uh, so the first thing that you will need to do is just go ahead and create a group. And then just give it a name. So, um, and by the way, to create a group, you would want to just click on this button over here, uh, where you'll be able to create multiple groups, not just one. So you can just go ahead and create the group that you would like. Uh, just give it a name that you would um, be able to track later on. So I'm just going to give it the name testing uh, group. Uh, and then we are good to go. And now we would want to add lists. You can think of them as projects so you can add lists uh, to your groups uh, so we can just you know fill them and have more projects uh, in the groups and so on so to create a list you would want to also click on the plus icon down here which is uh, says next to it new list click on that give it a name uh, let's just name it list one uh, and just hit enter and now it's going to be created the only thing is uh, that it is uh, separate from the actual group that we have just created so we want to basically have them together so just go ahead drag and drop it and you can just go ahead and have it uh, within the actual group so just go ahead and drag it over here and we can see now that list one is within the testing group uh, feel free to do so with many other different lists for example list two uh and let's just do one more list three so like i said you can treat lists as if they are projects so you can just go ahead uh, and use them as projects and so on and you can just have them that way uh, if you would like so if i can just get it to be over okay no okay anyway so drag and drop to have them uh, within the actual space that you would like uh, and now we can just go ahead and start adding tasks within the lists that we want. So in list one, we would want to write uh, some tasks about, for example, uh, write a script. And then we would want to add something else. Uh, hold on a sec. Maybe something else like video editing. Let's just do one more. Publishing. Uh, t -t 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 I can't even type today, but yeah, publishing a video. Great. So just go ahead, create your tasks and click on enter. And now basically you have some settings that you can actually go ahead and set up within the uh, thing here. So for example, if you click on one of them, uh, we can just click on write a script. For example, we can see we can add a step. We can add to my day. You can have remind me you have uh, due dates that you can set up you can repeat pick category add files and so much more but you don't have the ability to assign it to a specific person and the reason being is that you did not invite someone to the actual list so list one is only me so this is why we don't really have the option to go ahead and actually um, assign it to someone so instead what we want to do is just click on the share button on the top of the screen now, whether you obviously click on a task or not, it's going to also show up over here. So regardless, uh, just make sure you select the proper list, click on share, and then you would want to go ahead and click on create invitation link. And now you have two options, either just copy the link uh, and, uh, you know, send it to someone. You can send it to a group chat. You can send it to wherever you want. Uh, basically, people to be able to join this to do uh, list. Or we can just invite via email. So just send them an email right away with uh, the invitation. I'm just going to copy the link. And I'm just going to go ahead 
and paste it in my other browser with uh, the other account that I have, uh, which I will use as an example. So I'm just going to go to the other account. I'm just going to go ahead and paste the link, click on it, and it's just going to uh, send me to the actual list and I'll be able to access it. Uh, once you know the other person receives this, they will need to sign in to join the list to their office account, obviously their Microsoft account. So let me just go ahead and do that. Shouldn't take too long. And we can just click on join list. And it's as simple as this. People will be able to join the list. Click on open. Lastly, well, not you, the person that you will actually invite. They will have to do this. You know, it's going to be very easy for them. It's not going to be too difficult. And then they have access to the list now. You can see the same tasks that we have. You can see on the left side, however, they don't have access to the other lists that are available. If you want them to have access to those lists, you would want to repeat the process. Uh, but in here, they have access to all the tasks that are within list number one, like write a script, video editing, and publishing video. Okay, so... Now that someone is actually in here and we can see uh, the people that are in here, we can minimize this and go back to our home screen or the actual thing here. And we can go to any uh, task here. Let's go to write a script. And now we should have a new uh, button here, which is assigned to. This obviously was not available beforehand. Uh, like I said, because there's no use to actually assign it to a specific person when you're alone. But once you actually invite at least one more person and you should have, you know, here, as you can see, the list of members is two or more. You can actually see this button here, which is assigned to. So just go ahead and click on a script, click on assign to, and you can, you can either assign it to yourself or you can assign it to the other person who have you or the, the, the other person that you actually invited. So, for example, let's just assign this one to them. And I believe it's just going to show over here. It's not going to uh, appear here, but I, I, I believe you can actually go ahead and set it up so that, you know, uh, we can have a more detailed view. Or within the actual list view, you can see that it is assigned to uh, this other person. And we can go to this other one, click on assign to, assign it to myself, this one assigned to this other person. And you've, if you have invi invited three people, they're all going to have their names shown in here and you can just go ahead and um, assign it to them. So yeah, this is basically it. Just make sure to create a list and then just have some tasks in here. Click on the share button on the top right. Create invitation link, copy link or send via email. Have them log in uh, and uh you know just create their account or sign into this specific list and afterwards once you actually have more than just one member one member you will be able to go ahead and assign them the tasks and this is pretty much how to assign tasks in microsoft to do hopefully it was clear and obvious um and uh, that you have liked this video and thanks for watching